The world is full of great places to visit, and Norway ranks high on the list of places where people want to go. Most travelers and travel agents have heard about some of the destinations here in the country. Oslo, of course, and Bergen, the Lofoten Islands, the fjords, maybe even Tromsø in the north for the northern lights. But Alta? Not many people know about us here, and with so many famous destinations in Norway already, why bother to come here for a holiday? Oh, I just love questions like that. Sit back, relax, give me a few minutes, and I'll tell you why. One of the problems with well-known destinations is that, well, they're well-known. They're stuffed with people who want the same experience they all saw on a TV travelogue. This isn't a major problem in some spots. The Eiffel Tower gets 7 million visitors a year, and it's still standing. But it can be discouraging to visit back-to-nature sites in a crowd. At Trolltunga, famous for those alone-at-the-top-of-the-world pictures, it only takes a few dozen extra travelers before you feel annoyed and crowded. It's hard to be one with the universe when you're surrounded by loud, chattering tour groups all taking selfies and bumping you in the shoulder. And it takes some of the magic out of a Northern Lights chase when you have to drive two hours just to get away from civilization, and even then you find your group competing for parking places out in the wilderness. In Alta, you won't find those kinds of problems. We're still an almost undiscovered destination, a small town of 20,000 sitting right at the edge of the wilderness. A world of magic, fun, and relaxation known only to the locals and a small stream of lucky tourists. Even the cruise traffic that stops in Alta is easily handled, so both cruise passengers and individual travelers have a great time here without crowding each other. And as for what you can do, don't let Alta's size and remote location fool you. We have an array of activities here that rivals, and in some cases is better than, the big overcrowded destinations. Let's start with the northern lights in winter. Alta and Tromsa are both right underneath the aurora's ring in the sky, perfect for viewing the northern lights all winter, every year. But Alta has a better climate and more history than our friends over on the west coast. Did you know that the first photographs of the northern lights were taken right here in the Busakop neighborhood? Or that the famous northern lights observatory was built in 1900 on a mountaintop next to Alta? Or that there are some prime observing spots just 20 minutes outside of our small town? We're one of the premier spots for Northern Lights viewing in the world. You just have to stay on the airplane for another half hour to get here. Or, you know, use an airline that isn't taking you to Finland by accident. And then, along with the Northern Lights, how about a dog sled ride? Do you want to just be a passenger for a short ride? No problem. Do you want to harness your own dog team and drive your own sled? Sure thing. Do you want to spend a couple of hours on a private visit with a professional racing musher and go behind the scenes at their dog kennel? Yeah, right here. How about a full day tour, a weekend trip, a five day expedition? Alta has it. And snowmobiles. Everybody from timid beginners to seasoned experts are welcome. We can give you short rides or overnight trips through river valleys and the vast wilderness plain. And for skilled drivers, there are unique experiences like tours up to the Halda Observatory that even the locals are not allowed to do. Cultural experiences with the Sami people. Learn about reindeer herding, old traditions, and new challenges for Norway's indigenous residents. There's everything here from a quick stop to take selfies with a reindeer, to a private visit with a reindeer herding family, to day trips to Sami towns in northern Norway's interior. Ulta also has the world-famous Sortisneva Igloo Hotel, a half-hour's drive from city center. This masterpiece is made entirely from scratch every year. No freezers full of ice here and is constructed and decorated according to a different theme each year. All the builders and artists are local, so this wonderland is a completely authentic and different experience each year. Stay the night, enjoy some of the best food that Alta has to offer, or just stop by for a visit. The town is packed with fun, active tours as well. Take a ride on a fat bike through the snow, whether you're a champion or a beginner. Heck, even I've been riding a fat bike and I'm better friends with cake than running shoes. Go out on snowshoes for a brisk walk, try your luck at ice fishing, and enjoy a great lunch, even if the fish aren't biting. You can go cross-country skiing, or, oh wait, you don't know how to cross-country ski? Eh, you can learn! Not at a giant ski center with a pro shop, but with a local resident who wants to share their love of the activity with you. Now, switch gears and think about summertime. Everybody wants to go to North Cape, where the weather is often cloudy and foggy, um, to see the midnight sun packed in with hundreds of other travelers. Alta, just a four-hour drive to the south from North Cape, 
has the same midnight sun, but what we offer instead of crowds are beaches and hilltops where you can stand by yourself, look out over the water, and hear the whispered questions of the universe in the wind. Under the endless daylight, there is lots to do here as well. Visit the Alta Museum with its outdoor rock carvings made thousands of years ago. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, UNESCO Hunters. Take a tour out to the Alta Canyon. You can hike there on your own, uh, plan for three hours each way. Uh, go on a tour with electric bicycles or hire a local guide who has the keys to open a road right into the dam and power station at the canyon and the knowledge to tell you fascinating stories about the river and the local history of the canyon. To get up close to the canyon, go on a two-day canoe trip with a guide who knows the river. You'll get a perspective on this spectacular natural area that few others will see. And if you just want to explore the river in an easier and shorter way, there are guided riverboat tours that will take you along different parts of this famous salmon-rich river. Oh, uh, note that when we say riverboats, we're talking about these traditional longboats that blend in with the river and local nature, not some giant three-story monstrosity with a dance floor. If you like to fish, there are companies here that will take you out into the fjord to catch a variety of large fish. You can also hire a boat anywhere from one hour to a whole day just to go exploring. Can you fish or explore in the winter too? Yes, you can. You can even go out for a few hours looking for the northern lights. Ah, and there's so much more. Cottages on the edge of the fjord where you can go and just forget about the world for a few days. Sleigh rides offered by friendly Norwegian cowboys. Unique accommodation in the middle of a dog sled kennel. An award-winning chef offering unique fine dining at his family's dog sled farm. A ski center just outside of town where you can ski downhill, walk on snowshoes, go tubing with your family, and even take a zip line across a snowy ravine. In summer, the ski center becomes a climbing park where you can climb along rope puzzles in the trees. Spring and summer brings the world's cutest husky puppies for visiting, and depending on the weather, you can still take husky rides with a four-wheeled cart instead of a sled. And the reindeer are still here with summertime tours that give a new perspective on the natural cycle that they live in. All in all, Alta is an incredible travel destination, and it's waiting for you to discover. If you're ready to leave behind wall-to-wall -wall people, big tour groups, and the pushing and fussing of crowded attractions, come visit our oasis at the edge of the Arctic wilderness and breathe in the fun and the freedom. And if you want a local friend to help you, get in touch with us. We live in Alta, and we've got more experience than anyone else here making custom packages that will delight and satisfy you. Thanks for listening.